Hi, this is Socially Triggered, and today I'm going to do a commentary about... This is a commentary, the channel, uh, and their video, White Privilege is a Thing. So let's watch their video. I'm just going to comment on it and um, sort of point out some of the flaws with their arguments. So let's watch. I look outside my What's up, y'all? So I woke up today feeling like clocking some bitches. So as y'all know, it is Black History Month. And throughout the month, I have been and will continue to drag quite a few individuals. If I sound naked. So remember, this video is being recorded during Black History Month. So it's funny that the video is talking about white privilege when the video is actually being recorded during Black History Month whole month devoted to black people. <laughs> um, no other race has a month devoted to them. Do white people have a month devoted to them? No. Do Jewish people have a month devoted to them? Do Indians have a month devoted to them? Do any other race have a month devoted to them? No. <laughs> um, it is a privilege that black people have. It's a, it's a month given to them, and it, it sort of brings them to light and shows their struggles. And it, in some ways, it's a good thing, but in some ways, it's it's a it's a privilege that they get that no other race gets, and it's kind of bogus. <laughs> so the fact that he's talking about white privilege during a month of privilege for black people is kind of contradictory and insane. So um, let's just watch the rest of the video. He's gonna um, go into uh, a lot of crazy stuff and we're just gonna, I'm gonna comment on it. So let's watch some more. Easily right now, I apologize. I'm low key sick as fuck. I just wanna start off by giving a huge shout out to white people who understand white privilege. I can't even begin to express how much I admire white people who don't sit there and act like white privilege isn't a thing, who understand their privilege and how they benefit from their privilege and are vocal about it because that can't be easy. I was high as fuck the other day and I was just sitting there like, wow. As a black man, I obviously understand the black struggle simply because it's my struggle. And I couldn't possibly wrap my head around this kind of struggle if I was anything but black. So for those of you who don't necessarily understand it because you don't feel it, but can acknowledge it and are willing to be educated on our oppression and learn from us and listen to us and fight with us. Thank you so much because I know that it takes a lot to grasp. Even as a 23 year old black man, there's still so much that I have learned and still have to learn about my struggle. Now I'm not giving y'all a motherfucking cookie for being good people. You can make bad choices and still be a good person, but I know that it- Okay, so um, I just let that one play for a little bit there. So he's basically thanking all the white people who admit to white privilege. Um, as if, uh, as if apologizing for something that doesn't exist is a good thing. So th what's happened in our society right now is that we've come up with all these concepts like white privilege, white supremacy, um, white guilt, um, and basically we're sort of setting up a situation where white people lack privilege because we, as white people, are seen as, uh, as oppressors, as having done something wrong just for the sheer fact that we're white. And the truth is, you know, no race should be blamed for the past of, you know, of the race. Um, because if you look at, you know, even if you look at uh, black history, uh, you'll see that um, only five to six percent of Americans were slave owners, white Americans. Uh, within the free uh, black community, within th at that time, 20% of the free blacks were slave owners. So <laughs> the amount of white s slave owners was actually a very small percentage of the white population. Uh, and it was much higher within this free black community of that time, um, do we do we have to apologize for either of the, uh, either groups? No, 
it was it was an acceptable thing at that time, whether uh, whether it's a right thing or not. Uh, I'm not saying it was right what was done in the past. All I'm saying was it was accepted back then. We have progressed, um, and and rightly so. And but we have 200 years that separate us from the people that lived back then. There is no white privilege that exists today. Maybe 200 years ago there was white privilege, but not today. Things are different. And the fact that people keep on going on about these struggles that happened a long time ago, and people are made to feel guilty for these struggles that happened a long, long time ago, is a sign of white weakness. And anyone that apologizes for having white privilege when they truly don't is a victim of this new age of social justice warriors where people are made to basically feel inferior for the fact that they're uh, due to the color of their skin. If you're white, you feel like you should apologize for your whiteness. <laughs> and that you are somehow evil for what you've done in the past that you didn't even live during. Um, it's, it's crazy. So if anything, these are symptoms of white uh, weakness and of white lack of privilege, that we cannot feel privileged because of our race. Whereas black people get a whole month to feel privileged about being black, that it's a, an embracing of their history and of their culture. Let's, so, yeah, let's just keep on listening to his. It can't be easy to almost be forced to understand something and to fight for something that you don't experience, something that you virtually know nothing about, and something that you never asked for to begin with. As for the rest of y'all motherfuckers, you don't have to kill someone to be an accessory. Okay, wait, he just said that um, uh, we don't understand it because we've never experienced it, and therefore, you know, we can't relate to it. However, he can't relate to the struggles of other black people. Um, the thing is, if we look at the struggles of black people, he's not that old. These things all happened before he was even born. Uh, slavery, the civil rights movement of the 60s, all of these things, the major troubles within the black community happened before he was even born. So he's saying that I can't relate well, he can't relate either, because it was be before he was even born. And then he goes on to call us, you know, mother, you know, I don't like swearing, so, <laughs> um, you know, he basically just swears at white people for being white. So let's keep on listening. ...to a murder. All you got to do is know about it. All you have to do is be made aware of said murder, and you are automatically tried as an accessory to the crime. By simply having knowledge of the murder, you are in fact helping the murderer either commit the crime, evade detection, or escape. Having knowledge of a murder is just as bad as burying the body. Y'all white privilege doesn't exist, motherfuckers. Y'all all lives matter, motherfuckers, are accessories to the black struggle. You motherfuckers think black lives matter insinuates that other lives don't. No! Black lives matter. So he basically says two things. Um, if you deny white privilege, you're you're again an MF. <laughs> um, if you if you're an all lives matter uh, supporter, then you're also an MF. Um, so basically, he's you know saying that anyone that doesn't agree with their opinion is a total jerk, is a total MF. So. Is it really the case that that's true? <laughs> um, is denying white privilege a, a, a bad thing? Um, is it, does it make you racist for believing that there is no white privilege? No, simply no, because white privilege is something that doesn't exist. And what what is misunderstood so often in all these white privilege things and like just talking about white privilege where they associate privilege to whiteness is the fact that privilege is not a bad thing um if there's privilege 
that's a good thing because what you're doing is you're 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 helping future generations of your your family to do better getting them being more successful in life um, helping your children to be more successful is a good thing and that gives them privilege over other people that don't have those benefits and that's not a race thing it's an individual thing it's a family thing um, so if I if I save money and put away money for my children's education when they go to university they won't have the student loans that some other person might have that didn't have parents that did that for them so that's a good thing that's privilege my children will be privileged because they my their parent worked hard and saved money for them but that's privilege is not a bad thing and the fact that they try to make it a white privilege means that they're trying to make it only white people that can enjoy privilege Privilege is something that we all can enjoy. It's not a white thing or black thing or anything. It's, it's, a, it's something that we all can enjoy. Um, what is most commonly used within this white privilege concept is that they're trying to make privilege a dirty thing, a bad thing, and that it's unearned thing. Well, the truth is most privilege in our society is earned. If you work hard, you get educated, um, you do, you avoid going to jail, you avoid crime, you will be better off than everyone else in society that doesn't follow those things. Um, so does that make you privileged? No. It, it, privileged in the respect that a negative way. It makes you privileged, yes, but it doesn't make you in a negative way privileged where you're unjustly privileged somehow just by being some race or some group. It's an individual thing. So that's where I hate this whole concept of white privilege. It's just so wrong in so many levels because it ignores the value of working hard and getting gaining privilege. And then it tries to attribute it just to white people when it should be open to everybody, that everybody can achieve privilege within our society. Okay, I'm gonna let them rant some more and then I'll comment on it. Matter insinuates that black lives matter too. It isn't an anti-white movement, it is a pro-black movement. You see, the new face of racism is not in your face racism, but structural racism, also known as white privilege. We aren't saying black lives are more meaningful than everyone else's. We are saying black lives are just as meaningful as everyone else's. The Black Lives Matter movement isn't about separation or segregation or disengagement. The Black Lives Matter movement is about inclusion. Whether you believe it or not, our lives are jeopardized every single day. And we are doing nothing more than bringing awareness to that. These analogies have been used before and I'm gonna use them again. Firefighters do- Okay, so um, he basically says that Black Lives Matter's movement is, uh, is an inclus inclusive thing. Um, I can't understand that. If you make it Black Lives Matter, how is that inclusive? It's only focusing on one group. All Lives Matter is the inclusive thing because it's saying that all lives matter. You're, you're, if you're black, white, Hispanic, uh, red, purple, whatever color you are, it doesn't matter it, it, because all lives matter. That's true inclusion. By taking one group out of that equation, you're basically segregating yourself. So what he's saying is totally bogus. It doesn't even make sense. Um, so let's listen Not to sit and point at burning houses screaming, all houses matter. You don't attend charity banquets that bring awareness to breast cancer and scream, all cancer matters. Or maybe you do. Okay, so he says uh, firefighters, when they look at a burning house, they don't say, oh, all houses matter. Um, with a burning house, yes, firefighters do care about all houses because not only are they protect, protecting that house that's burning, they're protecting the houses nearby. And they address, address the issue with the house that's burning. They don't look at it if it's a white house or a brown house or purple house. All houses matter because if it's burning, that house matters. So they address the issue of the, of the of the house. Now with breast cancer, um, yes, uh, that it, there is um, a focus on different types of cancer. 
if you want to say that's cancerous, I don't know what the, the East term for it would be. Yes, it is. Um, but there's a reason for why people focus on one type of cancer over another. Because people, some people are affected by that type of cancer and, or know somebody that's been affected by that type of cancer. For example, if my, my sibling is, has breast cancer, I'm more likely to want to support funding to try to treat that because, of course, it affects me more dearly than some other type of cancer that doesn't affect my family. So whether that's cancerous, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what the term is. Maybe it is, but the point is, all cancer is different. Um, the, what causes cancer is different. Some of it is genetic, some of it's uh, environmental, but there's different reasons for each cancer. And who gets affected by which cancer really does vary between people. And people are gonna support the cancer that's more likely to affect them. So yeah. Uh, all cancer does matter, but the cancer that affects me matters more. <laughs> and that's, that's the way people think. People think in those terms, like what affects me now is more important. So that's why people do look at cancer differently. That's why people uh, you know, say that it's different. It's not like people. People, you know, I don't say like black people or white people or Hispanic people or Jewish people and I treat them all differently. No, they're all just people. It's individuals. Um, so yeah, it's a t the analogy doesn't make sense. It doesn't hold up. So let's, I'll let him rant a bit more. Because they're white and you can get away with it. Because we're white and we can get away with it. I don't even have words for awesome. black people who do not support Black Lives Matter, for black people who have the audacity to spit in the faces of your brothers and your sisters with that All Lives Matter bullshit. But you white motherfuckers, you kill me. Again, thank you for those of you who do understand, who do listen, who do have our backs. But as for the rest of you, you fucking kill me. You don't know a damn thing about what it means to be black, how it feels to be black, how little our existence. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So he said two things in there and he sort of contradicted himself a little bit. So one, he was talking about how some black people within the black community don't support Black Lives Matter. And then he goes on to say, uh, talk about white people not supporting it. Um, there's probably a reason why black people within the black community aren't supporting it. It's because the whole movement is silly, it's a joke. It's, it's looking at, it's really black, thugs matter because it all it cares about is people that are probably criminals that have been maybe wrongly or rightly killed by the police. It doesn't look at innocent black people or people who are in the black community that are getting affected by black and black crime, um, by other issues that are affecting the black community that are more important than the very small number of people very small. The number of people shot by police is very small compared to the population of black people in America. It's, it's not looking at Black Lives Matter. The, the, the movement is, is so narrowly focused on a, a small issue that it's ignoring uh, the bigger issues. And the fact is, um, since 1960, the, the rate at which uh, police are shooting black people has gone down by 75%. So, so really, the shootings of, towards black people have actually gone down, whereas uh, the shootings towards white people are, has remained the same since 1960. So the Black Lives Matter movement, and I can see why black people within the black community would be against it, um, doesn't address the concerns of black people. It doesn't, it doesn't look at black lives. And it, for, the, for the movement, black lives don't matter. It's a stupid movement. Now he's gonna go on, if you don't support us, you're against us, blah, blah, blah. But let's, I'll let him do his little silly rant. Truly matters in this country that was literally built for the success and the survival of the white man. You don't click on these videos that attempt to explain this shit to you, to listen. You don't click on these videos to get an idea of what the fuck we're talking about. You don't click on these videos to understand where we're coming from. You click on these videos to argue.
simply because our argument makes you uncomfortable. You click on these videos to tell us that we're wrong, that we're over exaggerating, when you don't have to worry about becoming victim to both law enforcement and the judicial system alike. Okay, okay. So he's telling me why we clicked on this video. Actually, the reason I clicked on the video <laughs> was not to argue against uh, black people or anything like that. It was actually just to hear the other side. I wanted to hear, like, truly understand the debate about white privilege. And so far, this video hasn't even addressed at all what white privilege is or how we got it somehow. I, I didn't see anything. It was mainly talking about Black Lives Matters uh, and All Lives Matters movements and how they're somehow uh, one is right and one is wrong. Um, <laughs> it hasn't really addressed the whole point of the, the video, which is white privilege is a thing. So. <laughs> Me commenting on this is going to fall into his whole thing that white people are uh, clicking only on this video to argue with it. But uh, I only felt the need to argue against it because it was just so blatantly racist and wrong. If he had made valid arguments, I would have supported it. I, I, I always like hearing both sides of any, any argument because it gives me an informed, it makes me more informed as a person. I want to know what other people are thinking because I do care. I do care what black people think if they're feeling oppressed or they're feeling like they're being unjustifiably treated within our society. I want to know that so that I can help change that society. But complaining about all lives matters and supporting black lives matters and talking about white privilege it just doesn't solve any of those things. Um, and saying that I don't understand or can't understand means that you're basically forcing me not to be part of the argument, that you're saying that even if I listen to you, I can't understand you. How can I, how can, how can I move forward on that? Like, if you're assuming that we can't understand, then <laughs> there's no bridge there, there's no uh, acceptance there. So you're basically making the debate nullified by saying you can't understand. It's just, it's just stupid. It, there's so much stupid. He goes on the video uh, and basically swears at white people for a while. And um, I can play it. You can watch it on your own. But um, I think I've commented enough. This is long enough of a video that... Um, I, I really don't want to comment anymore. Um, I just want to make sure that people understand that white privilege isn't a thing. And um, if, you, if you feel like it is a thing, tell me. I, I'd love to know how it's a thing in our society where, you know, as a, as a white person or a black person or any race, you can basically achieve the same successes if you're willing to work. Um, if you look at America today, it's Asian people who are thriving. Um, they are a minority. They uh, immigrated to the U.S. And some of them under much, much harsher si situations than the black people already living in the U.S. But yet, they, they are now making more than white people on average. They have higher levels of education. Why? Because they're willing to work. Do we call them Asian privileged? No. We call them hardworking. And privilege is not a bad thing. They, they are priv these, these Asian Americans are privileged because they worked hard for it and they earned it. So that's really what it is the thing. Privilege is a thing, but white privilege doesn't exist. It's an individual privilege. And something that we should all strive for. Thank you. This is socially triggered. <laughs>